Today I want to share with you my Trading212 Ultimate Review after using it for one whole year from 2020 to 2021. So the UK Stock Shares ISA has done me really well but I want to break it down and show you every single experience and if it's worthwhile for you. Hello, welcome back. My name is Alex Ko. Today, I want to show you this five-part section, as you can see here, on my experience with Trading212. And you should stick on the last part of the video where I will show you if I will be using Trading212 as my UK stock and share ISA for the year 2021-2022. So, hang in there. So now for the first section, my good points, the positive review upon Trading212. First, I'm going to just kick start off. Yes, using Trading212, I've made more money than my previous UK Stocks and Shares ISA. Previously, I used Harvey Langston. There were fees, it was painfully slow, the IPO release was slow, the app on the phone is terrible, I have to get on the desktop. But Trading212 has changed it all. Depositing money was fast. It's a really fast app that you can use on the phone solely. And the fact that US commission free and US stocks are widely available on the app. That helped me with the game changing profit making for the year 2020 with the market crash. I could buy and sell stocks really quickly. And the fact that I could buy fractional shares. All these points are great points. I've just jumbled into one. And that is the reason why I've made a great yield for the year 2020, 2021 with Trading212 on my UK stocks and shares ISA. And not only that, but it's the fractional shares and the release of IPOs. Fractional shares is where you actually can buy a portion of a shares. Amazon is about 3,000 to 4,000 US dollars. With 100 bucks, you can own 100 over $4,000 of Amazon shares, 0.005, 0.5. You can own those on Tesla, on those big high cap shares like Nvidia, expensive shares like Berkshire Hathaway. So you can own shares like this. That it helps you. You don't have to save such an amount to buy one whole share. You can buy it now. And the fact that IPO, 2020, 2021, there were great years of IPOs and SPACs. And Trading212 could just throw it all at you. You could buy an IPO shares on the day it's released. Other platforms are still struggling. But Trading212, you could buy on the day of the market release. You can pre-order, put your allowances in, and there you go. It, that's how fast, that's what a trading app should be. That's what an investing app would be. That's how you want to grow your portfolio. And Trading212 has really done me a favor. I really like it. If I could turn back time again, I will still use Trading212 for 2020, 2021. It's a no-brainer. Not all about the good stuff. Now in the second section, I want to share with you what I don't like about Trading212. What were the failures in Trading212? The first one, the pie sharing. They were just boasting about pie sharing. Every YouTubers are trying to share their pie. I'm just calling utter pie of crap. Why? Because this pie is useless. Who wants to spend $100 every month to buy 50 different stocks or 100 different stocks or a KT Wood Ark Invest stocks? You could go and buy the ETF themselves. Who wants to have 100 dollars chopped in all pieces. A good investor buy a good stocks long term in large volume. That's what's going to make you retire. 50 different stocks with 10 pounds a week is not going to help you retire early. I'm so sorry. I'm just being plain blunt. Pie sharing is utter rubbish. Okay, next thing is the desktop facilities. They are spending so much money and time trying to improve the UX, the UI, the analysis. It's all rubbish. End of the day, it's just a beginner's app, the desktop, okay? The phone app, great. UX, UI, all you have to do is find an app, boom, buy, sell, deposit, money, that's it. The desktop, they're trying to be somebody big and they're free, okay? I'd rather them spend the money elsewhere on marketing or improvement on UX, UI or improvement on after hours, before hours selling. Improvement on the services, but not on the desktop. Nobody uses a desktop. I mean, who uses a desktop? And that's the play where they fail. They need to focus on something else. The alerts on trading to what to isn't great. Yahoo Finance alert is way better. I mean, they could tell me something like, oh, Amazon has gone up 10% today. I know, 
it was like an hour ago. You're a bit too late. So the person who behind the alert indicator is always slow. It's completely rubbish. So the alert is not good. And the fourth thing that I don't like about trading 212 last year is they keep changing the rules. They keep cha making changes. You know that all 100% free. Now they're charging for Forex fees. They're charging for different ways to deposit money. So they're trying to find ways to make money off you. I thought it was all free because they're struggling to make money where they, they promised too many things, they went in too fast too early and they're trying to find avenues to make cash back. Next thing is who needs trading 212? I think that's the big question. You hear watching who needs it. If you are on a low budget, if you are on a, a low budget that wants to buy fractional shares, low budget but you still want to swing trade without the fees and you're to buy US stocks on your ISA and not get tax, that is the app for you. Trading 212 is for you. It's so easy to use, so easy to find, so easy to understand. You do not need to go on YouTube to learn how to use Trading 212. That's how intuitive it is. So that's where I like about it. That's where it's winning if it's for you. And the second thing is, is making it easy to point where you're like playing a game, playing an app. It's like playing Angry Birds again. Self-explanatory. You can buy and sell. Instead of wasting time playing a video game or app on your phone and watching football scores, Trading 212 might be a way for you to gamify the experience, to make it like a game, but in fact, you're making money, potentially losing money as well, if you don't do it right, of course. But it's helping you to encourage you to learn a new set of skills where you can actually make money than rather spend money on an in-game app. So, and also for first time season investors or first time ISA investors, it helps you save, it forces you to sell. So when you're, you're investing in Tesla stocks and you know that it's coming down, you wanna buy more and you think, where am I gonna go? It forces you to save money. So trading 212 is so fast to deposit money, it's so fast to execute trades, it's so fast to help you save better. So you become aware on how you spend. You become a budget friendly person that you want to focus on your next spending into trading 212 app. So who, will not use Trading212. It's such a great app. Alex, you've been talking about all the good stuff, but why would someone still not use Trading212? Let me break it down for you, okay? If you're a person that's looking for options, leverage, or after and before hours type, you're a bit more advanced you know, investor, you're a bit more advanced trying to take advantage of the market situation with option trading, Trading212 hasn't got it on your stocks and shares ISA. So that's not for you. Next one is if you're looking for like Chinese stocks and ADR US stocks or more international stocks like Japanese stocks like Nintendo. No, you can't find it on Trading212. It's not the one for you. If you're looking for more exclusive stocks like that, that you're looking for uh, Tencent or you're looking for BYD or NEO, you can't get it on Trading212 stocks and shares ISA. You can't get it anywhere else. So perhaps you need to think about the trading in other platforms. Your strategy will have to change. And the other thing is, if you're the type of person who likes to worry, I do worry sometimes. I need to pick up the phone and speak to customer service and say, what happened? Let's talk. Can you explain the transaction that's happened? If you're looking for that type of service, Trading212 is not for you. A lot of people on the internet has complained that they transfer money and the money disappeared for three days or four days for a week. And then the money suddenly appears. And you know it comes to a point where they have just lost all faith. So in terms of customer service, Trading212 is really poor. And I don't think it's for you if you are a person that worries quite a bit. And the thing is, if you are a person that hates the rule change, I mean, I've used Hargiv Langston for a while, okay? There's not much rule change. Things as per normal, they are very vocal about things that are gonna change very advanced. If you're the type that gets really annoyed with rule changes and with a company that makes mistakes, but you are the one that have to make the change, no, Trading212 isn't the one for you. And the next thing is, if you're a person that can invest 20,000 months straight away, big lumps of money, 20 grand every year, 20 grand every year, 20 grand. And one day in the next five years, you're going to have a hundred grand and you're worried whether Trading212 will go bankrupt or not. That's one of the key reasons many people don't use Trading212 because they're worried because they've got high capital amount. But if you're one of those new investors that's coming in, you're young, using part-time money to fund your, your trading investment account for your ISA, then Trading212 will be for you. But if you are the type that have got 120 grand in there already or, or, or three, 400 grand next time in the next 10, 15 years, and you want to move your money, it could be a bit difficult. I don't know how they're going to manage in Trading212. So it is one of my concerns as well because I'm going to put lots of money, my second 20 grand into Trading212. And what if I need to take my money out? What if I'm going to withdraw it when I'm retiring? Will Trading212 cope? Or will Trading212 even last for the next 20 years? So Trading212 has got all its pros, but it does have its cons and it's not everybody's cup of tea as well. So now in the last part, will I be using Trading212 for the year 2021-2022? All honesty, I've not decided yet. 
because I'm not convinced I'll be using it. Last year was different. Last year, everything changed. You were worried about investing all lumps of money. It took me a while before I reached my, my first dollar investment all the way to my last maximum ISA max out at 20 grand. It took a while to save money. So it was advantages where I could put 100, 200, 300, 500, 2000, you know, money that I can have and afford. But this year, I've already saved up my ISA. I've really prepped my ISA, I could just go and buy. And the way that I've changed my investment strategy to concentrate the portfolio, I'm just gonna go and buy AMD, Tesla, just two stocks, or maybe I'm gonna buy FTCV, three stocks. I'm not gonna use trading to one to the swing trade. I'm not gonna look at my account every day. So I may choose a higher fee broker, Hargreaves Langston, interactive investor, or I might just go Hargreaves Langston that I can manage everybody's fund because my family investment portfolio is in there. So I may not go to trading to want to because of that reason. Because if I want to swing trade, I can use other avenues to swing trade, like the likes of eToro, interactive broker that I can use before and after hours or leverage fees or margin or options. So this is what's causing me very hesitant to go to trading 212. I know a lot of people have been going to trading 212 just when they recycle, keep to the same habit. But for me, things are changing. My strategy has changed, my mindset, because I want to retire in 2025 and going in with trading 212 will not boost my yield any further. So this is me, I've not officially announced, but hopefully I'll share with you when I make my decision where, which broker I'll choose in a future video coming ahead. But for now, I hope you enjoy this video. Please click like and subscribe. Hope to see you soon and have a good day. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Please press the bell button, ding dong. Finally, watch the recent video up here. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.